The gentleman's recognized. Madam Speaker, I rise with great excitement and joy in my heart that today, Juneteenth, will become a national holiday, 156 years after the end of slavery in this country. We will now, on an annual basis, reflect collectively and hopefully begin the process of truth and collective healing as a nation. But I ask us, we must not stop here. We must continue to go forward to fight for racial justice because in many parts of our country, it still exists in the form of housing discrimination and segregation, lack of access to health care, and wealth inequality. It's so humbling to stand here as a black man in America and take another step towards feeling whole in this country. But we must, we have to come together across party lines to do much more. Thank you, Madam Speaker, and I yield back.